like this, Willie, but we did promise Dr. McClure to be there after yes, early. Yes, One moment, Angel. My hat and coat, Miss Kelly. Yes, Dr. Jones. Dr. Sanderson. Yes, sir. I'm leaving for the day. Now, about the difficulty of this woman with the big white rabbit. Has it been smoothed over? Yes, Dr. Good. While I've had many patients out here with animals, I've never before had a patient with an animal that large. Yes, Doctor, she called him Harvey. Unusual name for an animal of any kind. I want her to have a hypo at six, with another one at nine. Willie. Yes, yes, but I'm coming. My formula, nine, seven, seven. Uh, yes, Doctor. Listen, but... Willie. Hey, now look, now somebody's gonna have to give me a hand with that Simmons dame. She's terrible. You know how to take her corset off all by myself? Hiya, Doctor Chumley. How's every little... Hey, what's with you in that hat? <laughs> hat? Here's your hat, Dr. Chumley. I'm wearing my hat. Willie, dear, a few minutes ago, there was this something... This isn't my hat. I, I thought you... Must be yours, Doctor. No, Doctor, mine, mine is... Oh, no, of course it's not Angel, yours. I'd like to say... Oh, no, dear, we... of course it's not yours. <laughs> but whose hat is it? <laughs> Look at this. Two holes cut in the crown. <laughs> it's probably some new fad. Perhaps Mr. Dowd left it here, sir. Dowd? Yes, sir, that's what I was... That's Mr. Simmons' brother, Doctor. I, I gave him a pass. Oh, Willie, dear, that's what I've been trying to tell you. A few minutes ago, I met a gentleman at the gate. His name was Dowd. He said he was looking for a friend of his named, uh, Harvey. Harvey? Uh, yes. Yes, Harvey. Holy smoke. I left the water running on that Simmons name in a hydro tub. Why are you looking at me like that, Willie? He, he, he was a nice, polite man. He said his friend was a pooker. Oh, whatever that is. Give me Upper West R, quick. Where did he go, Mrs. Chumley? He went downtown. Hello, Dumphy. I left that Simmons dame soaking in 13. Do me a favor, will you, honey? Turn off the juice. So you gave him a pass, Dr. Sanderson. Perhaps they neglected to tell you at medical school that a rabbit has large pointed ears. Do you know what you've done? You've allowed a psychopathic case to walk out of here and roam around with an overgrown white rabbit. You've laid me open to a lawsuit. I shall have to do something I haven't done for 15 years. I'll have to go after this man Dowd and bring him back. But when I do, Dr. Sanderson, your connection with this institution will have ended as of that moment. Wilson, get the car. Yeah, Doc. I'm sorry, Fred, but you'll have to go to the McClure's without me. Take a cab. You two, get that woman out of the town. Yes, sir. Uh, Willie. I'm going to call my attorney. Oh. Wilson. Yes, ma'am. What's a puka? What's a what? A puka. A puka? Huh? You can search me, Mrs. Chumley. Uh. Pee-ho-poo-pooka. Oh, dear. I'm already late for the McClure's, and I did promise them I'd be on time. P-O-O-K-A. Pooka. From old Celtic mythology. A fairy spirit in animal form, always very large. The puka appears here and there, now and then, to this one and that one. A benign but mischievous creature, very fond of rum pots, crack pots, and how are you, Mr. Wilson? How are you, Mr. Wilson? Who in the encyclopedia wants to know? Prison? Doctor, Doctor Chumley, the screwiest thing. I know, happened. I know, and believe me, heads will roll. But Doctor Chumley, I was looking.